Okay, these are pictures that you're seeing on your screens from Kolkata where police forcibly entered the Jadavpur University and broke up a gherao by students at that too at about 2 o'clock this morning. What you can see are the police dragging out male and female students from uh, the varsity's main administrative building. 35 students have been arrested, several others have been injured and sent to hospital. In protest, students uh, blocked a major road crossing in front of the Jadapur police station from about uh, 3 o'clock uh, this morning. Female students have also filed a police com complaint against some of the police uh, officers for sexual molestation and the vice chancellor for calling the police into the campus in the first place. They may block the road again uh, at about 10 o'clock uh, this morning. At the same time, the police came and beaten us brutally. They were, I mean, they behaved like we are a piece of chicken. They just caught us and thrown away. Our girls were simply molested. I can state it. They were, I mean, whatever happened with them can be told as a molestation. It is a gender violence done by some police. And, the, and another thing I would like to add is that the, all, the, all the persons whom is called police by us, were not in the uniform. They were in civil dress, in a normal shoe. There, was, there were police people, there were goons who were without any uniform, claiming to be police people who came down, who massacred the entire university. Girls like me and everybody else, they were hit by male policemen. There were only two women policemen involved over there. They, they were not really touching the girls. It was the men who who just came, picked up random people, threw them across. There are 30 casualties right now, out of which one patient is currently in the KPC and the ventilator. Another patient is supposed to undergo an operation because his right side is par paralyzed. Now, Monidipa Banerjee uh, got the very latest uh, on that uh, big developing story. Uh, Monidipa, we've just heard uh, students over there make several accusations against the police. Some of them saying that they were treated like chickens, they were uh, uh, brutally beaten up. Uh, what does the police have to say? Well, the police is not saying very much really at this moment. You know, this morning we saw students trying to talk to the police, uh, but uh, uh, nothing came of it. So a short while ago, you just heard Anisha speak. Uh, she was among a bunch of students who went and filed an FIR uh, at the police station in Jadavpur. Anisha, who did you file the FIR against? I filed it against the VC, the additional OC, and uh, the, the OC of Jadavpur Thana and the additional CP. And why? because they started a movement against the students wherein there were goons who came in as well as there were policemen who physically assaulted not only girls but everybody else assaulted them so bad that there are 30 casualties right now and of all the women some some women's bodies they walked over them one particular girl was arrested randomly put after 10 p.m. it's not supposed to be allowed but uh, she was arrested and uh, in the particular van there was not a single woman you, you were also attacked I was right? attacked and uh, I had to tie this up right now. They took slippers and hit me on my face. Oh my they goodness. pushed me on the chest and we've all filed it over here. Okay, so that's what's happened to Anisha. She was one of the people who filed the FIR and behind me you can see students, they are having a general body meeting to decide what course of action they will take in the coming hours. Early this morning, from about 3 o'clock this morning till 7.30, they were out on a dharna outside the Jadavpur police station blockading the road. This is another young student who got beaten up. What happened to you? I think it is, first of all, it is wrong to just accuse the policemen over here because this is not just police action. There were two lines of the force. The second line was named the ones in civil dress. They were goons. You can see that in, the, in their faces. Some of them were intoxicated. They were drunk. The, the way they were treating with women, I feel ashamed to be a part of this state which promotes such, such machinery to, to deal with student protests. It was a horrible experience. A horrible you are an ex-student. Uh, what, uh, what did you see? You were here as well last night. I actually feel very ashamed. Uh, I remember standing up uh, to uh, an interview uh, of NDTV itself. It was called Facebook Live uh, Talks and there that is where I spoke, uh, spoke and said that the youth are responsible for anything that happens against women, rape. And then today, What happened last night? What did you see? What was the most ghastly moment for you? Police, police walking in brutally, 
over our bodies just to get the vice chancellor out we just wanted to speak to him that's all he's our teacher we wanted him to come out and speak you know what has happened in the meantime is students from other colleges have also come and joined the protests over here this is he is from presidency uh, university why are you here what made you angry enough to come here so uh, early in the morning uh, last night i saw facebook status and a call of one of my friends here who happens to be the general secretary of hsu i asked him man you you need you need our help and like come along we need your help because the police is surrounding our campus Uh, the fight started around it started around 245 the initial reaction was i was shocked i was literally shocked then came i was petrified but after that i'm still agitated and i'm proud of the guys who stood here and as far as presidency union, union is concerned they will come here and support them in all volumes so students coming together in solidarity not just in jadavpur university itself but from even presidency university and i won't be surprised if i see more students joining in today today is a holiday at the university it is vishwakarma puja but as you can see all the students or at least lots of students are here completely agitated by what happened last night under the cover of darkness and the questions they are raising why did the police action have to take place in the first place why did it have to take place at night and why have 35 students been arrested and many injured so many questions the students are asking so far no answers uh, we are trying to contact the vice chancellor but nothing from him as yet